Hello everybody, and welcome back to Pokemon Violet. Last time we got our final gym badge, which lets us finally take the champion assessment for real. Uh, but first, we have some other plot lines to finish up. So we're going to go talk to Arvin in a minute here, see what he needs. But first we're going to go say hi to Mom. We haven't seen her in a while. And, and Squabbit, that's more important. Hi Squabbit. I love you. Hi, Mom. You're alright, I guess. Kit, what a nice surprise. Are you having fun at the academy? I hope you're still making sure to eat plenty of veggies now that you're in the school dorms. I haven't been at school in months, Mom, Mother. <laughs> you know, I actually thought of some great recipes for you. They're for sandwiches full of bursting with delicious and nutritious vegetables. Oh. I'm going to try to make vegetable sandwiches. Wow. Put these recipes to good use, okay? They'll help you add lots of tasty veggies to your daily meals. Do you have more stuff for me? No, I'm just a nap? Okay. Nice long nap is all the body needs to feel ready for more adventure, right? Doesn't matter whether you're a po person or a Pokemon, we all need to take time to rest. Sandwich ingredients. So it's like, um... You get your mom's help if you're going to use the induction stove. I was gonna say? Like, sandwiches are the only thing people eat in uh, Paldea, like curry is and Galar. Before juicing. I'm not even looking at the painting, I'm looking at this plant. Anyway, uh, I, don't, I don't think there's anything upstairs for us. No. Anyway, okay, let's get going, see what Arvin needs. Bye, Mom. We don't need to go see Nimona's house. She's probably not home anyway. I guess we could, I guess we could fly to where Arvin is. But like, I'm already halfway there. It would take longer to open the menu than it would to just keep going. Oh yeah, he opened like the secret door. Or he will open it. Is he here yet? Seriously? You beat me here? How? Well, this is the lab. I used to come here to play all the time when I was a kid. There'd be a good reason for calling us here like this. Let's find out. Everyone always says he's some kind of genius. Absolutely brilliant as a Pokemon professor. My dad, that is. But let me tell you, as a parent, he's the worst. All he ever does is work. He never comes home. I don't have a single memory of him ever, ever even playing with me. His own kid. Mabistiff's the only one who was there for me. Always. Anyway, it's open now. Go on in. Oh, you're not coming? I just want to get this over with. I need your help. I'm currently at the deepest point of Area Zero in the Great Crater of Paldea. I've been researching the unique Pokémon here for a very long time. I'm asking the two of you to lend a hand help carry out the final step of the great Professor Turo's glorious research. The final step? 
But there is something we need first. Something that can be found within the lab. What we need is the Violet Book. Wait, do you mean this book? Ah, so you took it from the lab, did you, Arvin? This expedites things. Bring the Violet Book to the deepest depths of Area Zero. I promise that will be an experience worth treasuring if you come. I must note, however, that Area Zero is both home to vicious Pokémon and, and outfitted with powerful cybernetic security systems. It seems to me that you might struggle if the two of you were to enter alone. You may take the time to gather some reliable allies before you come, if you feel the need. I will be awaiting you in the deepest part of Area Zero whenever you arrive. Area Zero. That place is bad news. It was down in Area Zero that Mavistiff got wounded in the first place. Down in the Great Crater of Paldea. In all honesty, all honesty, I'd be perfectly happy to never see that place again. Are you gonna go? Um... We might find our treasure. Our treasure, huh? Yeah, I suppose that was the assignment we were given. I can't just stand by and watch while a friend heads off into danger on his own. So I guess I'm going to. Besides, I'd love to give Dad a piece of my mind. Alright then, Kit. Outside. We're gonna have a Pokemon battle to see if we're really ready to head into Area Zero or not. Mostly to see if I'm ready or not. Let's go. Turo is also playing Zelda, because there was a green groupie on screen. <laughs> All sorts of research data is displayed on the monitors. Mysterious device, better not touch it. Whiteboard is a mess of scribbled letters and numbers. It's called math. It's a magazine titled A Culture. It's the May issue. Do you want to read it? Sure. An article caught your eye. Uh, Enigmas of Hadea filed 05, Iron Hand, secretly a cyborg? This being's name comes from the one given to an iron-handed entity in the mysterious Violet Book. It is said to have fists that move independent of its body and to be capable of throwing large, fast-moving vehicles. A leading theory holds that Iron Hands was once an athlete who became mortally wounded but was kept alive by being made into a cyborg. Why it so strongly resembles Haruyama, however, remains unanswered. Spooky. There's no photo in this frame. That's also spooky. Why is that so ominous? Fridge's door's too heavy to open. Cook clap shows signs of having been used recently. Looks but the microwave hasn't been used in a long while. What the heck's going on here? Shelf pulled seasonings that have passed their expiration dates. It's, it's a sink that hasn't been used in a while. The mirror's fogged and hard to see in. But the cooktop was used recently? What the heck? Anyway, let's go fight Arvin. Yeah, that looks like a sign. Dragoon can do it. Alright, you ready for a battle kit? Sure. Excellent. You ready too, right, Mambastiff? Oh! Oh! Yep, Mabastiff says he's ready. You're battling with Mabastiff? Okay, yeah, I can see why you'd be worried. My buddy's here bursting with energy. You never know he was so weak just a little while ago. Won't leave me alone, always whining at me, wanting to battle you and your Pokemon. It's been so long I nearly forgot, but he always did love to battle. Even if we always lost to that student council girl, the battle fanatic one. Anyway, my point is, there's no need to worry. We're a brand new Arbin and Mapistiff, and we're feeling audacious, or maybe herbaceous. 
Let me give you a taste of what we can do. All right, here comes Arvin. Leading with Greedence, like a champion. What level is he at? The Pokemon that I met during our hunt for the Urban Mystica are all stars. Every one of them. Oh, all stars. Not all stars. There is a slight difference there. He has six, level 58. Oh boy, we can do it. Ooh. Ow. Damn paralysis, of course. <laughs> Poor Dragoon. Uh, I guess it's Dragon Pulse again, see what happens. They're still faster when paralyzed. Is Greedent that slow? This Quick Claw didn't go off there. Uh, let's swap into Holo. Just in case we need Dragoon for something later. We can heal her up. Body Slam will be, will be not very effective. Yep. Then we can... Let's see. Crunch always hits. Let's go for Crunch. If he wants to give us a taste so much, we'll just take a bite out of him. Toad Scroll. Oh god, that's Grass Ground, I think? Ice Punch. Cario should be faster than Toad School, right? I would assume. Yeah, Ice Punch. Oh, it's not. Okay. Ow. That was a mistake. Oh god, Arvin. Okay, um... My entire team is weak to ground. Uh... Dockleys? Then we can, like, Flower Trick? That should be fine. Oof, okay. I guess grass isn't neutral on grass, ow. Okay, that's that down. Go villain, grass fire. Firefox may be good on that. Yeah, because then. We can just do neutral damage, call it good. Good hit. Take that fine, yep, okay. I think maybe flame charge for speed boost? I don't know if that'd be enough to take it down though. Let's just be safe and go flamethrower. Garganackle. Oh boy. Uh let me Mistopheles out again. That's a rock type. Salty boy. Uh yeah, flower trick. Good hit, not quite enough, but good hit. Body press. That's fighting. Oops. I mean, I didn't know it had that. Uh, let's see. Ginny with Brick Break. Should be fine. I want to swap out False Swipe for something else. 
since we're not gonna be catching Pokemon for a minute here. Level up for Holo. Cloister. Ooh. That's also Ice type. So Ginny should be fine. Liquidation. That lowest defense or something? Ow! Get out of here. Level up for Ginny, and here comes Mabastiff. Yep, intimidate. Ah, but clear amulet, haha. -ha. The dog we've spent all game trying to save. We have to go beat it up now. Would Dire Claw just be mean? Like... Like, would that just be mean, just considering what, um... Mavistiff went through? Yes, but it'll also be kind of funny. Let's do Dire Claw. Let's celebrate your full recovery with a glow-up. Time to terrestrialize, Mavistiff. I hold my Pokeballs upside down because it's cooler that way. Okay, I went Terra Dark. So nothing... Fa nothing too fancy there. Put it to sleep. Perfect. Honestly, uh, so yeah, that's probably the best, <laughs> the best outcome. Now we can just brick break and probably call it a day here. Yep, there we go. Ooh, that was kind of close though. This game really like ramps up at the end. Probably because you have to do everything before this, so. Oh, well, you have to do everything, but. Like, you have to be leveled to do this instead of, of things being whatever you want to do it at. You know what I mean. Uh, we were so close, Mavistiff. So close. But, Kit, thanks, little buddy. Dang. This is the strength of someone who could take down those Titan Pokemon, huh? Yeah, much as I hate to admit it, I do think we're going to need some more support. The Pokemon in Area Zero are super strong, and there are all sorts of weird machines there, too. I'd say we need at least two more people. Somebody with some champion rank level skills, and somebody who can deal with crazy tech. Maybe... Nimona? Student Council Girl? Yeah, she'd be perfect for the job. I doubt she'd give, she'd give us the time of day unless one of us was on her level, as in champion rank level. But well, we gotta do what we gotta do. Whoever you think could be, could be a help, just try getting in good with them. We'll see if we can't make a team together. Get, get in touch if you make progress. I'll do the same. Path of Legends complete. That's exciting. But yeah, we can't help Arvin until we get help from a couple other people. Which I wonder how we do that. Let's sit down up here. Oh, I don't want to fight Nigglybuff. Oh, did I get healed? Oh, I was going to go heal, but I guess I already got healed. Okay. I'll let this ugly buff live, I suppose. Feeling benevolent today. It's also still my birthday. I I said I just didn't need to heal. I'm good. Uh, do I have stuff to sell? I think I do. I can get some cash. Oh, are these just money? Okay. Well. Like ever since what was it? Black 2? It was black and white or black and white too. Like, you can sell food to somebody, and then these item descriptions for, like, mushrooms and stuff always say it's, oh, it's popular with certain class of collectors, so I never sell them. Just in case I find somebody who wants to buy them again. But, they don't, I don't think they exist anymore, so it's fine. 
Oh, bulk sell. I didn't even see that there. How, how, do, I, how do I bulk sell? It won't let me. Bulk sell. Oh, I see. Okay. I figured it out. Okay. Well. Could go take classes. Could go screw around some more. Let's head up back up to school. Because that's what we're going to do next. Not take classes. But, um, go to the... We need to meet uh, Cassiopeia at night to finish off uh, Team Star's plot. It's also not nighttime, so I guess I'll just stand around out here. Um, yeah. Don't feel like wasting time, so we'll call it there for today. And then I'll sit around out here until it's nighttime. Then I'll head inside Mesa Goza and see what we can do about Cassiopeia. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you then.